Now let's record all the staff members that were part of the code. It's very important to document the timing of arrival. So let's document first the providers that arrived at 12 o'clock. I'm going to click on staff. And then these are the providers that were there at 12 p.m. So the first provider was the resident, Dr. Doogie Hauser. Also, resident Morell was present at 12 p.m. Their nurse practitioner was also present at 12 p.m. So let's go to the nurse practitioner section, press add new, an NP Frank helicopter was present. Also at 12 p.m., nurse Pat Almonte was present. So let's say registered nurse, add new, Pat Almonte was present. These are all the providers that were present at 12 during the code. To document this, we're going to press accept. And then we're going to ensure that we're going to type in the correct time that they arrived and they all arrived at 12 o'clock. And if you'd like to make a comment, you could write any comment next to the provider. To document this, I'm going to press accept. And then you'll see at 12 o'clock, these providers arrived. Now at 12.01, the other providers arrived to the code. So let's add those guys. Let's again go to staff, select staff. We're going to add an RN named Pat Fremont. Also at 12.01, another nurse was present and their name is Pat Anaheim. Also present at 12.01 was a pharmacist and their name is Helen S. Except, and these three providers were present at the code at 12.01. So I'm gonna press accept. I wanna make sure that I type in the correct time. They all arrived at the code at 12.01. And now I'm going to press accept to document. And now they're documented for 12.01. At 12.03, two additional providers arrived to the code. Let's document them. Let's press staff. And the providers that arrived are a doctor. Their name is Dr. Benjamin Salter. And he was the anesthesiologist. Also, the respiratory therapist arrived. His name was Amil Tan. I can't find his name in the system, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press cancel. I'm gonna cancel this. I'm gonna go to respiratory therapist and say add unknown. And then I'm gonna press accept. I'm gonna make sure to document the correct time for these providers when they arrived. And they both arrived at 12.03. Dr. Benjamin Salter, I'm going to note, was anesthesia. The respiratory therapist is R.T. Amil Tan. 
And now I'm going to press accept to document that these providers arrived with the code at 12.03. And then you'll see at 12.03, these staff members arrived at that time. Great, we documented all the providers. Let's document the code outcome. To do that, let's click on code outcome. And we're gonna say that the patient survived, yes. And I'm going to write a comment that they were transferred, trans, transferred to NICU. This all happened at around 12.06. And the code termination was 2-2, return of spontaneous circulation. And now I'm going to document by pressing accept. And then you'll see for 1206, for code outcome, the patient survived, they transferred to the NICU, and the code termination was due to return of spontaneous circulation. Now, to complete our code documentation, we're going to document when the code ended. So we're going to select code end. And then we're going to simply just state the time the code ended. So the code ended at 12.06 on 12.2.23. Press accept to document. After we document that the code has ended, it will state that all the staff have departed from the code. For the ED nurses, it's important to complete this section called Treatment PTA. Again, it's for the ED only, so let's select it. And this is essentially where we're going to document the treatment that was provided prior to arrival to the hospital. So, for example, treatment that was provided in the ambulance. So let's say the treatment that was provided prior to arrival was they were given oxygen, they checked the glucose, for example, um, a splint was placed, and let's say they checked a sugar of you know, 30, just make sure to document the correct time. And then if I really wanted to file this, I'd press accept and it will be filed. And now we've completed our code documentation. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much, guys. Take care.